Oh, friends, Ryan here, and it's time for more Persona 3 Reload. Excited to play more of this game, part two of my Let's Play. And we're going back to the dorm that the first day of school looks like. There are all kinds of shops here at the Little Toy Strip Mall. We're craving delicious food and head to Wakasu. There's also Hagak Pre, a famous ramen shop. You can also find dessert here and burgers and, uh, and sorry, I'm just going about food. Yes, it's eating time. Just kidding. All right. I go back to the door? Sure. That was cute, like a clock. Welcome back. How was your first day at school? Ah, tiring. It may be overwhelming at the beginning, but you'll get used to everything in due time. But for now, you should go back to your room and rest. I wonder if go to sleep. <laughs> hey, this used to be where you could save the original games. So this is a residence. My name is also listed. Then you can just save whenever it has a little symbol up there, so that's cool. Looks like the running's awkward. Hi, what are you doing? Uh, just looking around. Huh. Well, there's not much to see. Well, you're probably tired after your first day, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early. Yeah, they're all like, go to sleep. All the way to the end of the hall. This dorm room. Time to see what the dark hour's all about, maybe? This for, by the dorm, I should try to keep things tidy when I use it. I should go to bed. Sure. You just got home from school. I'm going out for a bit. Akihiko! My favorite. Or one of my favorites. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. His voice is different. It's, it's confusing, but okay. It's different than I'm used to hearing. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. <sighs> you have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. Yes, it is. A new day has dawned. Or school. I can't hear people talking. Have you heard? Hey, have you heard of the rumor about, uh, what was it again? The bathroom? Hold up. That's old news. Besides, just a ghost story, not a rumor. We're talking about the one girl, right? The second year? She stopped coming to school and just sits around staring at walls all day long. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing she says is, it's coming, it's coming. What? Is that really how the story goes? Eh, whatever. It's probably all made up anyway. Some disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school. Her spell is wrong. Sounds like the apathy syndrome. Okay, time for class. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Ugh, why him? I've been more interested in Kota Kaneko's work lately. His essays are fantastic, and he's also a famous haiku poet. I wonder why all this isn't in the textbook. Well, I guess I'll just bring his book next time. Okay. Speaking of haiku, they often use words or phrases related to season, so it's easy to get them mixed up. For example, you think tasty bamboo shoots and vivid carp streamers would symbolize spring, right? Well, they're actually just summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based upon the lunar calendar, making it fairly complicated. Hey. 
Hey, Yori, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Among these phrases, a rain of flowers, mystical mirage, and a vivid carp streamers, which one symbolizes summer? What? He's like, I wasn't paying any attention to that. What are you talking about? Koto, you're listening, right? Lend a brother hand. When going about your day-to-day -day life, you will come across certain actions that require the use of one of these stats. Academics, charm, courage. Social stats can be raised by doing various things around the city or by answering questions correctly in class. Keep an eye out for activities that might help you hone those skills. All praise the symbolized summer. Is it carp streamers? Exactly. Yep, that's right. So you were listening to me after all. Either way, mystical mirage and a rain of flowers represent spring. Ah. Mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March, early June. In a rain of flowers, rain of flowers refers to the spring showers around the time cherry blossoms bloom. It's not literally raining flowers. Make sure you remember all that on the next topic. <laughs> well, you know how much I like to pay attention. Man, you say you're the my bacon, Makoto. Yuki-kun gave the answer to this just now. He must be a good memory or something. Hear my classmates whispering. It becomes slightly more popular. Yes. Charm is polite. <sighs> Alright. Plain. No charm. No riz. Class is in it for today. I should head back to the dorm. The Otari strip mall is bustling effect in the afternoon. Okay, just leave them all. Ah. Oh, he's back. So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Huh. Why are you here? Who else lives here? Get a nice haul. I'm good. Why are you here? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. But it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? Who else is here? There are only four students in this dorm. Really? You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Hmm. I'm good. Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Oh well, thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. He's dealt. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Clever, isn't it? It's something. Oh, I can see like the cords and the surge protector plugged in. That's cute. An interesting touch. The phone and the lamp. You'll get used to his lame jokes. Will I? If you go ahead. I guess I'll head back to my room too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. 
Now I should listen to him and go to my rest of my room. Early. Hello there. So, how's he doing? Kind of creepy. There's a whole camera in his room, just watching him sleep or whatever. Very creepy, actually. Yeah, that's that's real creepy. Don't do that. He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's? Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. The dark hour. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, my niece? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this sucks. I'm serious. I was scared yeah, shitless. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next yeah, week, whatever. same time, same place. <laughs> the program you just heard was sponsored by Kirito Electronics, bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m. Oh, they're out late. It's time for the dark hour. Oh, he, he uh, didn't turn to a coffin. That's not good. What the? Not good at all. Still sleeping. He's not in a coffin either. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be. As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep. But he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. Yeah, scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Ah, the velvet room. Elizabeth and Igor. Welcome to the velvet room. Your voice is totally different, I imagine. Okay. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. It's a document I signed at the door. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return abide by your contract and assume full responsibility for the choices you make it's a dream 
Precisely. You are fast asleep in the real world as we speak. This visit of yours is merely a dream. However, you will come here of your own accord sooner or later. A lot of times. Lots of times. Hold on to this. What is it? Not velvet key. Until we meet again. Ah, the velvet room. Oh, a flip phone. Feels like I had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Yo, I'm so sleepy today. Times like these, the best course of action is to sleep during class. That adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of the teachers can really spice up your dreams. <laughs> Don't sleep in class. Whoa, you take studying pretty seriously, huh? It takes real courage to sleep in class, you know? Then again, since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty much screwed later. Oh, but we have classic literature today. I mean, dressed up of Mr. Nasty Old Ikoda. Now, moving on. Oh, that guy who was complaining about the food. Ahem, and Mr. Okoda will be your classic literature teacher. We'll be learning all about good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people say classic lit isn't relevant anymore, but oh, are they wrong. The students, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. Nobody really understands what it should. Like it, like it should. They should. Words. I'm feeling sleepy. So I close my eyes for a few minutes. Stay awake. Another courage. Are you even listening to me? Let's wake up, shall we, children? Now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Ise Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might even call it the bomb. Ugh, I can tell your people are zoning out on me. I force myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Academics. I'm a slacker. Slacker, it looks like. Sup? How's it going? Want to stop somewhere on the way home? Oh, sure. Where? I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat? That's right. You're new around here. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. All right, yeah. Let's go. Get some food. This is Polonia Mall. Polonia Mall. Okay. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh yeah, you can rent out CDs too. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever done it myself. Oh, not enough courage. Happy punch. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Let's check out the CDs first. Oh, whoa, that's new. What is it? Jack Frost? Let me show you my mad crane game skills. I see Jack Frost dolls. They're cute. Junpei. <laughs> I want you to get a Jack Frost doll for me, okay? I cannot leave an empty handed. Dude, I'm gonna look from the side. Yeah, that's it, yo. One more try. Just one more. I got with Junpei for a while before heading back to the dorm. We're gonna get food, Junpei, not spend all your money at the Jack Frost area. That's fine. Evening time. Welcome back. You're pretty late. 
mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? Sure. I'll be able to display a map of your current location and shortcuts allow you to fast travel. When it's displayed, you can open the town map directly from the shortcut selection screen. Some shortcuts destinations or even the shortcuts function itself may be unavailable in certain situations. Oh, I just go to my room. I guess there was a dorm mother here once who cooked and stuff, but it's just us and the students now. Maybe that's why we have such a nice kitchen. Seems like a waste not to use it. Huh, yeah, it does. I think... Yeah, I don't know that I'd really be able to make good use of it, though. And Kirito Senpai doesn't do stuff like cooking, but I would feel kind of bad if no one ever used it. There's one character I bet will use it. Oh, right. I must say, the moon looks quite stunning on this hazy spring night. Is it a full moon? Though tempting as it may be to spend a night such as this gazing at the sky, suggest you head to be bed early and get some rest. Don't worry, there'll be more full moons. Oh yeah, full moon's important. Can I buy anything? Everybody drinks next and okay. My room, it's time to go to bed. Did he fall asleep? Is he okay? I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because I haven't gotten used to living here. Oh, wow. Just who was that old man from the dream I had last night? And what was that contract all about? Well, he did remember his dream. And has a key. It's time for the dark hour. How is he? Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! He is injured. Uh, I'm alright. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What was that? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you 
too. We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay! Help the noise woke me up. Yeah, I bet. I should check what's happening outside. Feels like she's too muted there. I know it's her door, but... Uh, what's going on? Hurry! To the first floor! We'll leave through the back. Oh, oh wait! Take this just in case. Take what? Sword sword. Ooh, fancy. really cool. Yes, I hear you. Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. Uh oh, more than one. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? Uh, pull. Let's pull back. What are we gonna do? It's at the front door. Should we go upstairs for now? Well, that's a dicey situation. Let's go. I thought they like went upstairs already. <laughs> get to get to safety. Oh, I get to move. See, this running's not bad, but <sighs> in some other spots. You said let's go upstairs. We'll be fine. Keep going. Sorry. I was a sudden you were picking up once I'll explain later. Where are we going? Is there a door upstairs? Oh, there's more. What was that? Nothing good. I do love the opening of this game. Pretty cool. I've locked the door, so we should be safe for now. For now. Oh, that's creepy. That's it. One of the monsters that attacked us. It's a shadow. It's here. <laughs> Wait.
From the sea of thy soul, I come. I am Orpheus, master of strength. I love it, Orpheus and Thanatos. His personas. It is so cool. Creepy, but cool. Just ripped about poor Orpheus. What on earth was that? Not yet. Get away from me. I need to protect her. It's battle time. Those shadows. Did they break off from that other one? Huh, did they? Oh, we have attack, persona. Orpheus has Augie. The weak fire damage. The one foe. That looks so cool. Oh, it's definitely weak to that. Let's try that again. Goodbye. The monsters are gone. He passes out. That was a lot. Back to the velvet room. It's so good to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Oh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. Persona? A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. Mask? The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bonds. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links 
Yes, will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Please remember this. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. All right, Igor. Oh my gosh, it's been like a long time. My head is getting clear. I can feel someone's presence beside me. Mikari. You're awake. How do you feel? Uh, where am I? Thank goodness you finally woke up. Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um... I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. What are those things? what I do? you used we call it persona and those creatures you defeated are shadows our enemies we'll explain everything later i'm sorry i didn't tell you before i uh i wanted to tell you something i can kind of relate to you i mean you mean my dad died in an accident when i was little and my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, we'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukon High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. And I was scared too. Really? But still, sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. What? So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm going to get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you. Okay. Need to go home already. That was quick. Oh, welcome back. Gotta say, I'm so relieved now that you're out of the hospital. Don't push yourself though. Do you wanna get some rest? Don't worry, your room's safe now. Yeah, are there any more creatures gonna pop up? Okay, just in by said you'd be late today. I guess she's processing some paperwork for you. Hey, grant over to that school tomorrow, okay? Still gotta go to school. That was pretty cool. He unlocked his persona. Normal face. Heating and cooling unit. It's not turned on because it's a comfortable temperature this season. Oh, good. We're at half moon. Oh, a little more than half. Alright, well, I'm going to end this episode here. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have an awesome day. Bye.